Aquarius. Welcome, guys. Welcome, 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 welcome. Woo! We got the Three of Wands. Some of you guys are waiting for something, okay? Maybe you are waiting for communication from someone, or you're waiting to see what move someone is going to make. But I got you guys here waiting, okay? I want to shuffle you guys' cards three times because I'm picking up the number three for you guys. Some of you guys may be seeing the number 333, or the number three is significant to you in some way, shape, or form. All right, so let's see what's going on. These messages are going to be general. Don't mind my nails, guys. I'm in the process of taking them off so I can get them redone. So just keep the message and, and ignore the nails, okay? All right, so I'm going to shuffle three times. I said that three times. One, two, and three. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus. Aquarius, okay. Aquarius. We got the tower here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Right. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Scorpio. But maybe there's something that all of a sudden comes out the blue. Maybe you guys are dealing with a Taurus. Okay. But there's some spying going on. There's some confusion going on. Somebody trying to confuse or, or trying to start some confusion. You've been keeping your eye on someone or someone keeping their eye on you. But this is like some shocking, something shocking, some shocking news. You want money. <laughs> Straight to the point. Okay, we got the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment, and the Ten of Pentacles. So you're wanting something financial, or you're wanting something long-term, or you're wanting some commitment, or you're wanting something tangible, something, something, um some money or you want like a family we got the queen of cups here in the challenge pisces cancer scorpio's energy look the six of pentacles you want someone to give you something okay you want something to continue as well but then we got this ten of swords in the future energy guys what's going on ten of swords so there's this ending or a backstab or some type of betrayal going on here all right there's an ending, and then somebody's deciding to move the hell on, okay? This person has a connection with you. And I got the star card, which is you guys' energy, so maybe you're having hope for something. But, yeah, this is about money and resources. Maybe you wish someone had more stability, You're tired of giving this person, giving to this person. And they keep coming back and forth. They're possibly in and out your house, in and out your life, in and out your space. They're just always like there, you know, back and forth. But I feel like you are cutting that shit out. It's over with, going ahead. You've made up your mind. You've made up your mind. This is a cycle that is completing and is coming to a complete end. You are moving on. I feel like you're kind of worried about where this person is going to go or what's going to happen. But I feel like you're deciding to cut this, to end this. We got the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. So this person loves the shit out of you. They have a connection with you or they like something that you're doing that you have to offer to them. But you're hoping, yeah, you're hoping that they're going to tell you when they're going to leave. <laughs> Aquarius, you guys are so cutthroat. Oh, my gosh. And look, you're hoping that they, you know, keep in touch. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Okay. That's communication. Good news. So you're hoping to hear some good news from this person. Like, it's like you're cutting out some shit that's going on excuse my language but this is this reading is so cut and dry it's so aquarius <laughs> it's so aquarius this energy 
you feel like this person drags their feet, you're possibly tired of this person being in your house. We got the four of wands, home life, marriage. Maybe you are just tired of this person. You're tired of looking at them. You're tired of them being around. You're just tired. Okay, they keep coming back asking for chances after chances after chances. You keep giving them chance after chance after chance to get their shit together. And it's like, um, you want them to get a job or you want them to start um, to work on themselves or build something. But you're cutting this shit out. This it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. Like they come to you with their problems and their worries and they feel like you provide them your your provider with this king of pentacles they feel like you are a provider some of you guys could be dealing with the virgo taurus capricorn yeah we got queen of pentacles so we got king of pentacles right after that the queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn but you're waiting you're like when are you going to leave You're hoping to hear some good news. So it's like you're giving them a farewell. Bye bye. Farewell. They don't, maybe it's some rules and regulations that they don't follow. Um, because we got the, the Hierophant card here, and we know that they're all about rules and doing things traditionally and, and in an orderly form of fashion. Um, with this page of swords, you know, um, in the Seven of Cups, there's just like confusion. Like, someone's talking too much, or, like, it's just confusion. Maybe it's about a relationship. Oh, I see a pregnancy here. We got the Empress and the Sun card, so there could have been a pregnancy, or someone gave just gave birth. Um, but this possibly is someone that, like, a baby mother or a baby father. Um, it's like someone's trying to confuse you. And then, then there's like gossiping and spying going on. And it's just like, it's just like, uh, just go. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe you've been being nice to this person. Why is the Queen of Cups here? And you're hoping like they're telling the truth about what they're going to do or what move they're going to make. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Seven of Wands. So, maybe you're trying to, um, the challenge is the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? This is someone standing their ground. All right. They, you guys are wanting someone to stand up for their own for their own self. It's like stand on your own two feet. Um, I'm getting like supportive energy with that seven of wands and nine of pentacles. So maybe like you've been trying to help them out, but it's like they just are they're stuck, okay? And maybe they're getting comfortable. And you've been talking about some different options with them. Maybe there's children involved. Or you've talked about different options with them in the past. And it's like they change. Like, like you're watching to see if there's going to be any changes. But they're comfortable. They're not um, making any moves. So I feel like you decide to put your foot down. And when you do put your foot down, you're putting it down for good. And it's like farewell, and I wish you the best, and I and I hope whatever you tell me you're getting ready to do, you do it. Why is the Ace of Swords here? It's like you're hoping that they're telling the truth. Yep, about their decision, about what their plans is, and what they're telling you that they're going to do. You tried your best, is what I'm getting. You tried your best. And you want to hear some good news. I feel like you've done everything that you feel like you can do. And now it is time for this person to get the hell out. And that is where you're standing. <laughs> that is where you're standing. Let's see how they feel about you. How do they feel about Aquarius? They probably feel like you're cutthroat. You're mean. 
because you guys are so straight to the point. Like, it's logic. If it doesn't make sense, uh, you can get the hell on with that. Three. I'm going to do three shuffles. One. Two. And three. How do I feel about Aquarius? Well, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. So they feel like they have to leave. They feel like they have to move on. Their guard is up. And there was like some truth. They like some truth they tried to tell. They feel like they're trying to tell you the truth. But your guard is up. And now you want them to leave. We got Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords. Someone could definitely be pregnant or gave or is giving birth or it's like a mother could be involved or baby mother, baby father thing. They're sad. Um, they're sad. Um, they are, the challenge is them being independent and doing things on their own. The challenge is the nine of pentacles. Okay. Then we got this Empress card. It could be a mother. Like, I'm getting single mom energy as well. Um, but I'm getting that. I'm getting, like, lazy energy. The Four of Swords is, like, when you're doing absolutely not. I'm just feeling like they're comfortable, okay? They're, I feel like they're comfortable. And then we have... Someone is changing their story. Um, in the past, like maybe they feel as if you change your story up. We got the justice card. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra. There could be a court system involved. Um, but I'm just getting like the Empress and the Justice card. There's a need for some type of balance in this situation maybe they're trying to figure things out they regret not taking action they're going to regret not taking action um with this queen of wands and the five of cups in the future they are so heartbroken there's like an argument maybe they feel like they have to break up a fight <clears throat> but we got the three of swords and the five of wands there could be multiple people involved um, three or more people. And I'm getting like, you're trying to explain. I mean, I'm sorry. They, they've, I feel like you guys are trying to explain to them. Like there's some back and forth. Um, it's like they, they're calling you back to back or there's like a, a conversation that I feel is being had. Um, but they, there's a lot of confusion. There's a decision that needs to be made, okay? And they're just waiting for this phase to close out. Yeah, I'm getting that someone is super comfortable. Like, I'm just getting, like, chilling. Someone, someone, maybe they feel like you start arguments with them and it breaks their heart and it hurts them hurt their feelings and i said that i said that they was gonna feel like you guys are coming off cold and then we got the king of swords where you guys this is you guys energy and you guys are giving them the business okay so um they're hoping that you guys could reconnect and come together i'm just getting like there's multiple people lots of people you got the seven of cups and the three of cups like there's just like a lot going on and they're just having, you know, the courage to close this chapter out. Okay. They've been they feel like they've been being patient. They're just waiting it waiting for the space to uh close out. And then but I feel like they're resisting it at the same time. Why is the strength card here? Some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. All right, we got King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Four of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, this could involve family. Some, some of you guys could be married or there's a living arrangement here. I'm definitely picking up. I'm still getting like someone having to leave. 
move on, move out is what I'm getting, and fast. Like they got, it's like you're rushing them to leave. Um, it's like you're rushing them to get out. And why is the King of Pentacles here? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And Ten of Cups. Um, they, I feel like you're financially stable, and you're possibly um, are happy with what you got going on. And maybe you just feel like this person is like in the way. I feel like the challenge is the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, the challenge is them standing on their own and taking control of their own life. Okay. And I just feel like you're not up for them to tag along with you on this, on the ride. You want them to get, I'm feeling picking up on someone that's super duper comfortable. And you're like, uh, uh this, this, this shit right here is, is, is a wrap. It's over. You're going to have to make some moves or you're going to have to leave. All right, let's shuffle three times for the Love Oracle cards. You guys are so cutthroat, but I love that about Aquarius. Like, you guys are just logical. It's just, if it doesn't make sense, then it, you just don't want anything to do with it. All right, we got you deserve love, okay? So you know exactly what it is that you deserve, but I feel like you don't trust this person and... Or they don't trust you. Because I'm the one to see how they feel about you. So, you, they feel like they can't trust you because possibly you flirt a lot. Let's see. We got let go of control issues. We got passion. And then we have religious factors. Ooh. They're looking back at the past. Why is, uh, is it safe? You no, know, let go of control issues and passion and religious factors here. Please give me clarifiers. Let's shuffle three times. got the ace of cups and the hangman so they're waiting to see what you have to say they're waiting for like some type of response from you um yeah here we go with this eight of cups so i feel like they're just they're really like have no control over it so they're just going to decide to walk away i feel like they're looking back at the past the connection that you two had in the past um and then there's something here about religious factors so with the hierophant here, there's definitely about tradition. They think that they're looking at how you view things, your beliefs, okay? So maybe you're trying to do things the right way by the book. And, like, it's obviously, like, a problem, yeah. Maybe some, like, there's something to do with your belief system, how you view things, um, tradition, okay, is what they're viewing, It's like they're just waiting for you to tell them to leave. And it's like talking about the past. So maybe um, maybe they want to talk, communicate with you about how to work things out. Um, but I feel like they've done this before. We got this Empress card again. Okay, so there could definitely be like a mom, a grandmother, or like I said, someone could just like be pregnant or there's a fresh start, a new beginning. Okay, so I feel like they definitely feel like you want them out. They're just waiting on you to say it. Um, the way you've been coming off towards them, they feel it. They feel like it's like getting ready to come. Like the moment is right around the corner. It's like they feel it. Um, they know that they need to work on themselves. You've talked about this before. 
We've had this conversation before. This is not the first time that this conversation has been brought up. So they they know exactly what it is that you're looking for and what you expect from them. Um, but like I said, religious factors, maybe they feel like you've been going to church or you've been, um, that you're taking things more seriously, like you're doing things by the book now. And like maybe you're coming at them with like the Bible says or my, you know, I don't believe in that. That's not how things should go. I don't want things to go that way. They're looking at that, okay? What's the three card here? I feel like they could feel also like there's a need for a fresh start and to let go of some things. Okay, we got the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Okay, there may be some um, someone like thinking of a lie, but I feel like here with this Ten of Wands, they could be feeling like maybe they're a burden on you. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Right, Eight of Wands. All right, someone is just waiting for you to tell them. Um, and I'm picking up on Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I'm just getting like, they're waiting for you to tell them that maybe that they're a burden on you. I don't understand why they would wait for that because I feel like you guys are giving them all the clues and all the signals to let them know that you're ready for them to, you know, stand up on their own. All right, um, Aquarius, that is going to be the reading that I have for you guys. If this message resonated, guys, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share with your family and friends, and subscribe. I'm out. Until next time. Ciao for now.